What is going on, YouTube? Your boy Sunny D is bringing you some hardcore kill confirmed gameplay from my boy Apex Sentence. He just goes beast mode on these kids, fucking noobs, with this Tac 45. I put a little timer down there on the bottom right just to show you guys how quickly he gets to his K9 unit. These noobs just don't know what's hitting them. He's running Lightning Strike, VSAT, K9. And he drops two lightning strikes, two V sets, and one K9 within his first life. Probably could have dropped another K9, but I don't think he paid attention on his second V set and just got got shot. I'll show you right now when it comes up. There's his first lightning strike. Because there's his first V set. And unlike your boy, he actually you know he plays his V set smart. He kind of waits out, waits out, lets lets them come to him as opposed to me where I rush like a motherfucker. I rush left and right when I have my reset my V set up and more times than not I die. <laughs> Look, he got he sees a noob coming up behind him. This noob's not gonna know what hit him. Just turn the corner and blah blah Done. Yeah, see I would have chased that noob down. Here it comes. There it is. See that canine unit in a minute seventeen. That's it. One seventeen a canine unit. That's pretty fucking good if you ask me. I know there's probably people out there, oh that's nothing, blah blah blah, but no, that's pretty beast. That's pretty beast mode to get a K9 that fast. So he and his K9 goes his K9 goes beast mode on these kids. I'll show you what I'm talking about here right now. Watch this. He checks out this area, he ends up running into the market over here or whatever you guys call it, the long building. Now keep an eye on the kill feed. Here it comes. Keep an eye on the kill feed. One, two, three, four, five, Lightning strike on standby. six, Our seven, your Friendly lightning strike inbound. eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven kill feed right there on him. <laughs> I think that gave him a little Black Ops 2 chubby so he got behind this de counter over here and he decided to rub one out or something, but that was... That whole kill feud was him for those 11 kills right there. Unfortunately, it doesn't count for any kind of master killer or anything like that, but hey, still pretty fucking beast. Anyways, this happens to be my wife's cousin and um, I game with him a lot and when I started talking about starting a YouTube channel, he mentioned interest in it and he just didn't wasn't able to get the capture card yet because we were both gonna do a channel but I told him hey I'll get the capture card and you know if you get any kind of gameplays you want to put up or something like that just let me know and I'll get them up I'll put them up or I'll record them you could do commentaries over them unfortunately he wasn't able to do a commentary over this one just yet so we're still working on how to do that so I told him I'd do it there's a second visa now look I just don't think he sees the guy or didn't pay attention and just gets owned but 27 to 1 to start it. It's pretty fucking beast. The rest of the gameplay is eh, kind of slow paced and all that, but that was pretty much the beast mode of it right there. Anyways, so I told him I'd do commentaries and stuff, so hopefully I'm gonna, we're going to see some more gameplays from him. He's a good player. Plays hardcore also. So we'll see what we'll see what comes out of it. You know, I'm all about showing love to other people and displaying anyone's gameplays that just wants me to do it. On that note, there's, you know, this whole YouTube game, is this YouTube game is pretty hard to get into, man. I've been doing it for about a month, you know, I'm not expecting to jump up crazy, but what I noticed is I did a first look Gears of War Judgment video last week. Before it came out, I did like on Saturday or something like that, before it came out on Tuesday. <coughs> Excuse me. And that video blew up, that video got views, you know, that, view, that video actually got into hundreds of views where... All my other videos have been getting like 40, 20, 30, you know, little views. So it got me wondering, got me thinking, is it the fact that my Call of Duty old gameplays and commentaries just suck so bad that no one really wants to watch them? Is it the fact that there's so many Call of Duty commentators out there that no one really cares about the new ones and they watch what they, the ones they already watch? Or is it the fact that I just put out something that someone hasn't seen someone hasn't hadn't put out yet because it was before the game was released is that what got all the views whatever it was 
I thank everyone for watching it and hopefully you guys liked it. I got some comments of how bad I suck on it, but it's not my game, so I just I just did it to put it out there, but so that got me thinking. And then during this last week, my boy newbie of duty, you know, he started talking about starting up a new YouTube community channel for us smaller YouTubers, which he's they were doing some behind the scenes thing and I'm getting ready to get that launched up, so hopefully I'm going to be a part of that little community so hopefully I'll get some more exposure that way and all us, you know, all us smaller YouTubers will get some exposure that way there's quite a few people that are going to be part of that community I'm um, part of the Hardcore Union community which is a YouTube channel YouTube community that is strictly hardcore black ops game gameplays and commentaries which is a great community. Um, B Montrosity and Sergeant Ghost over there have started up and run a great community. They're all about promoting the hardcore gameplays, the hardcore community, and helping YouTubers grow. So I'm excited to be part of that one, and I'm excited to be part of the new one that's coming up. So there's a lot of good things. I don't know what the hell that guy was doing. There's a lot of good things that are coming from all this. So I'm hoping that you know more networking and stuff is going to help the channel because I enjoy doing these videos. The, though they do take some work, they do take a lot of work, and it's nice to see people view them and watch them and like them. It's kind of um, puts you down a little bit when you don't see your videos do so well. But hey, it's part of the territory. I'm doing this because I like it because I like doing it, and I'm learning editing while I'm doing it. So it's a win-win situation for me, but I would just like, you know, everyone wants to see some kind of success and more success out of it. So hopefully these two new communities, or the new community and the hardcore union community that I'm part of already, you know, you know help everyone grow better, help all these huge, small YouTubers grow. On that note, with all that new stuff coming, I was thinking maybe I should reset my stats to kind of get a better you know to show a better understanding of where I'm at where my gameplay really is at as far as win loss, score per minute, KD stuff like that and the fact that I prestige mastered almost a month ago now and it's yeah you know I say I'm all about calling cards and I want to get calling cards but honestly calling card, now that I'm doing YouTube it's all about I'm trying to get gameplays now and calling cards are fine all but YouTube gameplays are more fun. <laughs> My thing is, I don't know if resetting your stats completely wipes out everything. So if anyone knows anything more about resetting stats, do you keep calling cards? Do you keep stuff like that? I know you don't keep your camels and stuff, so I'm thinking they're going to take away your calling cards too, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you guys have any pros and cons on resetting stats, man. I'm thinking about it. I might do it. I might not. I don't know. But we'll see just let me know what you guys think let me know if any of you guys have prestige mastered and then reset stats and why you did it or you know did you like it or did you do it on accident or did you just do it to do it so that's what I'm thinking about thinking about doing so I'm excited about these these new ventures in this YouTube that are gonna happen boom to the dome you know new channel coming out Hardcore Union's great group of guys have been helping me a lot. Shout out to them. I'll put a description to their channel here in my video. So if you guys are interested in the hardcore aspect of Call of Duty, definitely check them out. And with this video coming in a wrap, I just want to say thanks for the support so far. Remember to like, share, comment, follow me on Twitter, and hope to bring you guys some more good gameplays. Have a good one. 42 and 11. Good shit. 8 sentence.